Hey everybody, it's Ranchin, bring you another StarCraft commentary. <clears throat> uh, this is gonna be set 3 of the Samsung Con vs. Wounding Stars, it was played 4 days ago. I'm sorry I'm not releasing these videos as fast as I would want to, I thought with my exams finished I'd be able to do this a bit faster, but I'm kinda still busy with stuff. Yeah, this is gonna be Odin against MVP. Odin, uh, one of the few players uh, that Khan actually fields, and he's not very good at all. He's won less than a third of his matches, and he's histor and he's very, very, very bad against Terran. He's only about 20% against Terran, which brings us to MVP, who ha just happens to be a Terran. I'm a rather new player, he has doesn't even have 10 professional games yet, he's lost most of them, but no, I, I'm gonna reserve judgment, I'm not gonna say anything, so I'll just see how he performs here. 4, 3, 2, 1, go. This is gonna be on rush hour 3, which is uh, about 60% for Terrans on TVZ, and it's actually a very good map for Terrans, because there's areas that you can just, especially with tanks, you can just shell the other player just continuously. So yeah, we're gonna have, at 3 o'clock, we're going to have Odin as the brown zerg, and we're gonna have MVP as the teal Protoss at 7, and early SCV going out, so we're gonna eat, see some cheese right off the bat, some cheese here. Probably gonna set down a proxy somewhere, or just, you know, uh, wow, I don't know, he's very early, he's probably you know hoping that Odin is where he wishes him to be and is that overlord gonna see I think yeah that overlord definitely saw that uh, that SCV so we're just gonna see what's going on maybe it wasn't just early scout but that's scout is way too early I mean I have no idea what's he gonna do here <laughs> That SCV is coming out way early. He's not actually building a proxy. He's not doing it. He's just going out and maybe he's just going out there trying to be an early pain in the ass. I don't know. Um, first, people here. Uh, MVP is building his supply depot inside, so he's not uh, probably waiting for the barracks. Barracks not going to come out right away apparently. Uh, nine pool, I think, from Odin. So he's just going to react. He's just going to be ready here, just just in case. A three-player map with not a, that big of a distance to travel between the bases, so... MVP just chilling with the SCV outside the base, just chilling, chilling, seeing what he can do. Uh, oh boy, I'm just, I'm flabbergasted. I've never seen this before. Uh, I think he used an extra, uh, Odin used an extractor trick there to get an extra drone, I think, I don't know. He was going to put down gas, but decided not to. MVP is still not doing anything with that SCV. I just want to know what was the purpose. So, yeah, that's what I thought. It is, I think, wasn't that a proxy? Wasn't that a proxy location for that? Barracks? Uh, early gas as well. So, well, not early, but gas. So, I, I think he might have, like, tried to shock Odin into thinking it was a proxy, but then not go for a proxy. I don't know what's going on here. Odin sending out a uh, drone to go for a hatchery. Uh, that's SCV is definitely going to make sure that doesn't happen too quick. I don't know, maybe that SCV was just there to make sure it wasn't some kind of early, you know, 5 pool or something, because that can be done on this map even decently. So, yeah, not a par proxy barracks at all. He's going to wall off, though. I think that, uh, I hope just the Marine gets there in time, because... Zergens are almost there. But yeah, I think that's pretty much what was going on there. I think MVP just uh, made that SCV because he was afraid that uh, the, uh, Odin would go for some cheese because Odin is very bad against Terran and when you're very bad in a matchup, you tend to go for cheese to try to win it. So it's actually kind of quite smart. He just made sure there was n nothing funky coming his way. Ooh, Marine. Uh, yeah, it's nice. SCV's there to uh, repair the supply depot and Marine there to blow away the Zergling, so nothing gonna happen there. But yeah, uh, <laughs> both players think, uh, uh, one player thought, I thought it was going for a proxy, but that player actually thought another player was going for a proxy. Another hatchery inside the base, so he's gonna, we're gonna have three hatcheries here, and the SCV did spot that, and did see that gas going up as well, so. The gas is very late though, so Odin's only gonna have Zerglings for now, I don't think he's gonna push out right away, we'll see what's happen. More Marines coming out. Uh, for uh, oh, MVP and he's putting down a factory so another mech build man how how many am I'm gonna see TVZ mech I don't know um, maybe you'll make it work this time maybe we'll make it work 
Oh boy, uh, the factory almost coming down. Uh, just a couple of marines have been popping. <laughs> Drilling there, waiting outside, waiting for that scouting SV to make sure it's coming out. Um, Creep Colony been putting down. Maybe he's expecting some sort of, you know, just being safe on the safe side here. He's, he hasn't really scouted MVP well, so he doesn't really know what MVP's going to for. And a starport, so. So yeah, two starports. So wow, uh, two port wraith here. I think um, it's actually a very good idea at this point because uh, Odin has not scouted this at all. No idea this is coming. Second colony, no spire up yet. Um, no, uh, I don't even know if he's gone for lair yet. So is the if that SCV uh, SCV didn't know? Yes, yeah, so lair is coming up now, but it's gonna be very late. I think a couple of wraiths are gonna be out way before this is happening. And I think there's a very, very good idea by MEP here. He figured, hey, the guy hasn't scouted me, uh, nothing going on. I can just go for two-put wraiths and just crush the guy. He has no anti-air. This is critical. No anti-air. No den down. So he's going to be a little bit long for the entire. Uh, that old lord is not going to be able to scout anything either. He just very nice job here by MVP. Yeah, supply depot not going to put down anything else. So that is probably going to be wraiths. Another creep colony going down. Although there's no evolution chamber, so there's going to be nothing anti-air at all. Um, you can't tell this governor that the zergling is going to try to sneak through, but it's not going to. Oh man. Odin's gonna be so surprised. Two wraiths now out. They're not cloaked. They don't need cloak. They're just gonna go out there and lay waste to some mineral lines. Two sunkens there in anticipation for a push on the ground by Marines. But there's actually a bad read. Vulture now out as well. Um, oh, now there's a great wraiths going up. Moving in there. Gives us gonna. Oh, no anti air at all. They're just gonna go and shoot at. Yeah, one drone goes down. <laughs> Uh, to start with uh, two drones, three drones, I don't know, wow, just a lot of drones gonna go out. No anti-air for a while from Odin now. He's gonna move in with, uh, he's as gonna pass him a couple, a couple of Zerglings, three Zerglings there. They're not gonna be able to really, they're not gonna be able to do much more raids being built. Central control towers also on the way. There's a vulture there though to defend.